bring the kind of benefits we would like to have. Obviously, sometimes due to issues touching on integrity and influence from those whose, whose, whose cargo may be the subject of such planning. So part of the reforms we are doing to underpin and receive greater value from the equipment that we are installing is to create a software platform that will integrate all the scanners that we have here in Mombasa, the ones that we have in, 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 uh, at the airport, and even finally the ones that we have at the various border points, integrate them through a software platform, create a command and control center in Nairobi, in Times Tower, so that the images that are scanned here or anywhere else within the country will be available in that command and control center for evaluation and decision making. So that implementation will then allow customs at the headquarters level to be, a, to be able to take control of surveillance in terms of what is happening. And therefore, of course, also eliminate the risks that are associated with compromise and contact between those who are scanning and those who scargo is being scanned. The implementation of that particular project is starting in September, and we expect that by early next year it will be completed. And that again will be another major milestone in terms of ensuring that not only do we see loopholes for revenue leakage, but also that we make it easier for customers to do business. Because the way in which we work today where we have to open containers without clarity in terms of why those containers are being opened, creates inconveniences to customers. So if we can scan more, and especially those containers which are profiled as risky, if we can scan them, then it means that we can be able to pinpoint more accurately which containers will then require additional intervention through physical verification. 